because it's the wrong hand. Wrong hand, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this is going to be a fun fun interview. My name's Carol Henderson and I have life by design. We have a wonderful Southern Belle with us named Misty Blue and she's going to tell us all about oils and frequencies and, and what she does and how it improves your life. And I've got my great co-host with me, Miss Barbara Ellison. <laughs> Hi, yes, I'm Barbara Ellison, founder of Wellness Playroom for the best version of you. And that's what this show is all about, to bring bring you things that can help you to be the best version of you, whether that's with your health or your mindset or your finances. Those are the things that we bring to the table. So I'm so excited to, to talk to Misty. How are you doing? And, and I have to, but I do have to tell you, here's me with two Southern girls, <laughs> you know, don't Yankee. have the accent. Yankee. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Anyways, Misty, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. And thank you so much for having me on here. I love the accent. <laughs> I know. I know. And you're and you're from Kentucky. You're from Kentucky, right? Yes, ma'am. A little yeah. town called Brownsville. I think it's a population of 800. Oh, wow. Yeah, now, I, 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 I have to admit, going south, I drive through Kentucky on my way to like Nashville and down into Tennessee and love the hills. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful drive. Beautiful drive. Love the love it. So it's just did Kentucky one time, but we did yeah. it this way instead of yeah. this way. Yeah, <laughs> so I go through Kentucky. Yeah. So just love it. Just love it. It's just a great drive and friendly people, friendly people. So anyways, so Misty, tell us about you. Well, um, I've been on a health journey for many, many years, about 18, close to 19 years. Uh, when I was 40, I was uh, hit with the situation one day where I was just doing nothing more than making my bed. And all of a sudden, it just kind of felt like the bottom dropped out. I went to the emergency room and they informed me I was in congestive heart failure which really was shocking to me because all I knew to say is I, I've never smoked. I didn't even know what to say because there was no heart disease in our family. I wasn't doing anything to cause it that I knew of. And uh, the worst part was, is I had like probably less than a month to get it repaired. My mitral valve inside my heart had split open and I was basically drowning in my own blood and didn't even realize it. Um, all of the signs and symptoms was almost the same as menopause. <laughs> so, uh, I was going through that at the same time, uh, joy, <laughs> I'll just say that joy, <laughs> but, um, Fun time. Anyway, so, Fun time. <laughs> I mean, why not? Let's just everybody join the party. But, um, at the same time I was losing my vision, which I am legally blind at this point. And, um, there was just all kinds of health concerns going on. And of all people, it was an eye doctor that sent me to a rheumatologist that found out I had uh, a gene in my blood, HLA B27, that causes lots of system disruptions. And uh, it had went, you know, I'd probably had it my whole life, but it probably started when I was in my early teens. Because um, there was always really weird things going on with me health wise. It was never the normal children's stuff. And um, I mean, my vaccines never kept, you know, like I had to get them repeated over and over. But, you know, nobody knew why. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it kind of started a, a whole uh, waterfall effect and got the heart surgery done. And then I was thrown into what I called the medical circus where I was on like 32 or 36 pills a day. I mean, all of a sudden I had like I said, everything, and they had a medicine for it, trust me, and I just was basically bedridden because I, my body was not used to that, I didn't adapt very well, and I had had my first grandchild, he was about six months old, and I remember my daughter coming into the hospital room, and I could barely even, like, hold him, and I, I just wept, <laughs> like, I was like, I'm never going to be able to play with this child, grow up with this child, or be the grandmother my grandmother was to me, you know, and 
time went on and I think finally I just, yeah, the Southern girl in me got sassy and mad. And I was like, there's got to be a better way. <laughs> I remember saying that life. to my doctor. I, yeah. I was 42 years old and looked at her and said, you know what? You are not helping me. There has got to be a better way. Yeah. Well, so, congrats. Husband, said, Honey, there's no sense in us continuing on this road. He was on 23 prescriptions. Some yeah. of them ate a day. So, yeah. 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 And it's never like, I mean, once they get you on them, especially yeah. at that point, I went on disability. I couldn't work. And I mean, and it was the medicines. It wasn't even just my body. It was mostly the medicines is why I couldn't work. And I mean, so everything was paid for. So, of course, they put me on as strong as stuff as they could find. I mean, I was on Nexium for at least 10 years. I was on Klonopin and all of a sudden I was depressed. I didn't realize I was depressed. I didn't, you know, not until they put me on all the medicine and, um, you know, um, just things, pain pills, uh, just all of it. And it took me a lot of years to get off of it. I, but I mean, I bought myself my first computer and I just started studying. I thought if I'm going to be at home doing nothing, I, I'm going to figure this out. And that's when, you know, they, I got introduced to, uh, the doTERRA products and you know that was where I started because uh that's and it, it it did it helped a lot and I took my medicine back to my doctor and told him I'm going off of this medicine I didn't just stop taking it though I don't want no one to ever think that um he said well I cannot tell you to do that and I said you don't have to this is my body and I'm telling you I respect you enough to include you but I would like your help to do this, please just help me do this because I can't live this away. And uh, slowly but surely it did take me, uh, like I said, quite a few years. I got off of all of them except for two. And uh, my prognosis with the heart, because it was already so damaged, is that within 10 years, I would have a complete heart transplant if I made it that long. And it's been almost 19 years and that has not happened. Matter of fact, until I had the COVID second time, <laughs> I had COVID the second time um, and started having some just feelings that didn't feel normal and went into a cardiologist for the first time in years and uh, told him, you know, I was like, I need some testing done. Something's going on. And basically I was back in heart failure. It was functioning at 43%, but, and it still is. I mean, but I'm sitting here talking to you like this right now. It's nothing like the first time. And, you know, I do feel like it's improving. I did go back on three additional medicines. So, you know, um, I think altogether I'm on four right now. But, right. Um, you know, it's so different. It's so different than the first time. I'm, I go, I live upstairs in an apartment. I go up and down stairs every day, multiple times. You know, I, I'm okay. Like, I, I just, I'm okay. I think a lot of it has to do with mindset as well, though. Yes. Yes. Very possible. Yeah, we have a friend that talks about that, you know, you hear a lot about the words of your mouth and, you know, watch the words of your mouth. But the Bible also says, take every thought captive. And a friend of ours talks about that you have 32 point, 37.2 trillion cells. I always get it backwards. 37.2 trillion cells eavesdropping on every thought mm -hmm. and so if you think you're sick you'll get sicker if you think you're well you, you'll get more well whatever you focus on is where you're gonna go uh think about when you first learn how to drive and you focus and you look over the side and the car goes and you look <laughs> over the side yeah. and the car goes because you go where you focus so focus on the good and just yeah. like you said every day somebody i mean you can find something good to be grateful I mean, for something to be grateful for today i'm breathing my heart is beating you know yes. if, if it's that minute that you can find good yeah. i mean we're we're in a we're in a disaster area right now and people are getting mm -hmm. flooded out right and left where yeah. the sun near me but i mean the sun came up this morning they do have pumps going to pump the playa lakes you know there there are some good things to that. Yeah. yeah yeah I hey. feel like waking up every day is you have that choice are you going to 
spread love and compassion and a smile? Or are you going to just walk around grumpy and bitter about everything? Do you think it's going to help? No. <laughs> well, and, and stop and think. Think back over your life, the days you woke up and you were in a bad mood and you just let it ruin your day and you just spiraled down. But the days you woke up and thought, this is going to be a great day. It is beautiful outside. And just even your thoughts spiral up just but from your thoughts. But then when you wake up and somebody else is there to talk to you and go, isn't it beautiful outside? And you go up a little higher. Look how bright the sun is today. Or in our case, because we're usually in a drought, not today, but in, you know, <laughs> it rained today. Yay. It's cloudy and rainy, you know, so it, it's, it's all in perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's one of the things that I work with, with my clients too, is like the law of polarity. There's two sides to everything. So if you're thinking that if you're on, if you're going towards the negative, well, then guess what? You're going to go more to the negative. But if you're thinking more to the positive, you're going to go more to the positive. And what goes, and I was like, what goes around comes around. And it's just so exciting when you can start to see the little changes. Yes. That's what's the, and when, and what, like for me, that's one of the reasons why I'm a coach and uh, why I work in the wellness industry, because I love to see when the light bulb goes on. And people call me and say, oh, wow, Barb, I can, I'm walking better or I'm feeling better or whatever it is that they say, or you see the light bulb go on and they get it that they're in charge. Yeah. Life is not what happens to you. It's how you handle what happens to you. Yes. yes. And in any instant, something happens and 10% of it is what happened. 90% of it is your mindset. Right. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. have that choice. And it says, you know, it is a choice. You know, choose you this day, life or death. And so I choose life. I choose to, yeah. I choose to be happy. Yes. Oh, yeah. It doesn't always work that way because things do happen. And on any given day, any one of us can have a bad day. Yeah. However, more often than not, you can get yourself out of it by choosing. And one of the things that I work with people is that put on something happy. Personally, I get up and I turn on Chubby Checker and I do the twist. It it works for me. Find something that's you and that works for, and that just kind of gets you up and gets you going. And so, yeah, it's, it, it's, it is a choice. It is a choice. And people say to me, how can you be so happy all the time? Well, I, I choose to be. Yeah. So yeah. for, for you, what, okay. What would Misty tell our clients that watch our show as far as how would they, what do they need to do to make their life improve every day? Because a lot of people haven't been in congestive heart failure. A lot of people aren't legally blind. But from your perspective, what can they do to improve their life? Just, you know, things that are just so basic, like making sure you drink enough water. That is so huge to everything, your mood, uh, you know, the way your body functions. Um, I'm going to say diet as well, even though I feel like our diet um like it scares me to even get on that stop box right now. Like I, I yeah I, I, sit, I stand in the grocery store and I try to figure out what can I buy you know and that's where a lot of the training there's not much I know I mean yeah. that's where a lot of the training comes in but you just do the best you can because right. all, in all the only person that's going to be able to save us from all this misery in the world is God and Jesus so yeah. I mean you can't just constantly fret about it. You just do the best you can. Right. And um, it's not just one thing. I just want people to realize that there is so many really good products out there right now. I really like people to research and, you yeah. know, find people that they know and trust. I think that's huge is finding people that you literally can trust because if you just go online and start ordering stuff you really don't know what you're getting or where it's coming from or the quality that you're right. getting Sometimes they right lie. So, and they sometimes lie 
you know. Absolutely. Now, so, <laughs> I was yeah. like, today, a couple of friends of mine and I, we were out for lunch and I had taken my bottle with me. And she said, gee, what are you drinking? And I said, I have to tell you, I love this. This is everything green. I'm and they because they all know I'm not the I, I I can cook and I'm actually a pretty good cook, but I don't particularly like to cook. So I just looked at her and I said, Well, this is everything green that I don't like to cook. And she I said, it's got 117 vitamins and all my greens. I don't have to cook. All I have to do is make it and drink it. And she went, oh, Barb, seriously? And I went, this is everything green that I don't like to cook. Because they all know I don't particularly like to cook. And she she just laughed. And it was like, okay, Barb, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, you know, you it, find it, what works for you. Yeah, I, I do something. I mean, we do a shake at, at my house. We do a shake in the morning, a shake at night, and I cook for lunch. You know, I cook us yeah. usually yes. for lunch, and we have a yeah. garden. We, you know, preserve our own food and stuff like that. I live I live on a farm. Somebody the other day said, "You don't look like the crazy chicken lady." <laughs> so he lives on a homestead. She does. I have I proof. Looks like Barbara's been yeah. here. Yes. I've been here. She lives on a homestead. And uh and this year we have rain and it is absolutely beautiful. So yes. Yeah. But yes, you do have to if you don't grow your own and you don't process your own meats and stuff like that, you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, and you don't home. need it. Guys, they grow chicken here so that they can say grown in the USA and they ship it to China for processing and ship it back. Now yeah. how in the world can that be good for any of us yeah Not and what we know has escaped from china in the last few years absolutely get on that soapbox either <laughs> yeah no i <laughs> probably all have the same thoughts about that so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think more and more people are having those thoughts so exactly yeah so yeah. find the thing that works for you or, or or find the thing that works for a friend of yours and just go go hey you know because most companies like i know ours says it comes with a 30-day guarantee try it no yeah question. try it yeah you have everything to gain and nothing to lose exactly so. exactly so also in that vein it doesn't have to be the most expensive product no nope. uh, by any means it can it does i mean price does not re regulate quality but do no. your research for the quality and make sure what they say is in there is in there right. because yeah. often it is not or it's what they call fairy dusty which is just a right net. i think to call something natural they have to have one carbon of one atom yep. of in it well that's not natural <laughs> so yeah. anyway if you have enjoyed this if you have any questions for misty or for barbara or me put it in the chat we will get back with you and also uh if you're on facebook click like and share and if you're watching us on youtube please subscribe to our channel ring the yeah. bell and share it out to your friends and to give us a thumbs up because it does make a difference in the algorithms and in who sees what what we have. Uh, Misty, this has been wonderful. And uh, oh, essential oils are amazing. I so yes, if you I use yeah. Try them. Reach out to Misty, and yeah. we'll we'll get you hooked up. So That's anyway, uh, this this is great. So. Thank y'all so much. So very, very much. So. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Yeah, Bye. Thanks.